All right, what is going on, my dude? So I just finished the stream for the Grandmaster's Gauntlet. We had a lot of fun. It should be on playback if you want to watch some of it. But when we got to Nameless Thanos, we threw in Spidey 2099, and we absolutely cheesed his entire butt off, man. So Nameless Thanos only gains passive power in this entire fight. And as you know from watching my channel, Spidey is the best passive power gain attacker in the entire game. He shuts the whole thing off. He just shuts it all off, man. So... As you can see, um, I went back in, right, because I did it synergy list and it was totally fine, but you do have to build up to these special two first. So you're going to have to bait out like one special one from this guy. Um, but basically just get to the special two and it's over. I went back in with anti-venom, right? And it's um just more cheesy because you literally start with the wither debuff, which as you guys know is absolutely nuts. You will not see even 1% of power gained onto Nameless Thanos in this entire fight. We can literally heavy chain him in the corner. Now, a little key here is to dex before you use your special one or your special two. That way you um, can de uh, pause all of your debuffs while you are in the middle of your special one or special two animation. Now, I'm going for a special one for a few reasons because I'm building up the resistance of passive and what that is doing is that it's essentially going to be um, increasing the duration of my debuff pause, which is definitely very huge here. Now he has a couple different phases, but honestly, if you're using Spidey for this, you don't even have to worry about any of them, man, because the phases pretty much happen when you're beating a specials. Like he'll make you like have like reverse controls here or he'll go like stun immune and get like a bleed passive in the first phase. Basically in the first phase, like you can't hit him for a that's why I didn't hit him. And then in this one, um, I think he like evades for a second, right? But just don't hit him when he's gonna evade. And then you're like good to go. Now I believe he goes stun immune below like 40%, something like that. So you do have to watch out for that. But as you can see, man, we're completely cheesing this guy, man. The hardest part of this is dealing with the special attacks and getting in the hits in between, right? So here we're kind of taking away the need to deal with his special attacks, man, which is just nice. So we're gonna bait out a heavy attack from him here, and we're gonna go back in, and he's now below 35% health, and we're just about done with this fight, man. Bam! Go for the special one. Nine resistance, um, nine physical vulnerability debuffs, increasing the damage over time from the ruptures, okay? Which is just really, really nice, of course, right? Good stuff over here, good stuff. We have nine physical vulnerabilities up. There's a death touch, okay? The death touch is now gone. So now the fight is pretty much essentially over at this point because he he's going to be gaining power here and usually he gets to the special three and kills you off unless you like intercept and get an indestructible passive but he's not getting to the special three guys it's not going to happen because spidey is going to just lock him down the entire time and at this point we have enough wither debuffs up that they're going to last long enough that we can just heavy chain through the rest okay so that's it if you bring Anti-Venom along, he's literally shut down and cheesed from the beginning. Here he got hit, unfortunately, when he had 1% health left. That's right. Now, obviously, Spidey is going to do this a little bit better without Suicides On. Um, he's... But Suicides On is fine. I did it with Suicides On with no synergies. Wanted to go back in to bring my buddy Anti-Venom, and it was just nuts, dude. So if you're planning your team and you can fit Spidey on the team, he's really amazing for Mojo, for Sasquatch, even though Sasquatch is currently bugged where his exhaustion is not going to stop his rage stacks currently as of today. Um, that's hopefully getting fixed, though. Mojo, I think I may have said that. Um, Dragon Man, really, really good for it. I actually used him for Nick Fury because there's kind of a transference on it. So Spidey is an absolute monster in the gauntlet. If you have a Spidey ranked up, do not be sleeping on him for this boss, dude, or the gauntlet in general, man. So yeah, that's it for this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big old like. Let me know what you think about Spidey just completely, 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 completely turning off the final boss of Grandmaster Gauntlet in the comment section below easily the best option in my opinion like it's kind of hard to argue that he didn't even get to, Thanos didn't get to do anything man he didn't get to do a single thing that he tried to do that's it for this one see you in your round